Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Halal Times YouTube channel. Today we're going to discuss a very important issue which is related with at least 200,000 Muslims living in Japan and the Muslims who come here visit the country as uh, tourists or for business purposes. So this topic is related with a lot of people and this is something very serious and we need to discuss the issue uh, because as a person who's been residing in the country for such a long period of time it's necessary for us to talk about all the detailed issues with the Muslims who are planning to come to Japan or who are already living in the country. So let's discuss further uh, what we need to tell you guys about the real halal food which you could find in Japan. So that's the main topic. You know, uh, how can you eat real halal food in Japan? That's a topic which we're going to discuss today. The answer to this question is important for local Muslims as well as Muslim visitors from other countries. However, the answer to this question may depend on who you ask. Even local Muslims don't seem to offer a unified answer to this very important question. So to avoid any biases, we have listed some general guidelines you can use to make sure that whatever you eat in Japan is actually halal and not the other way. Similar techniques to verify halal food in other countries as well, of course, there is no doubt about it. But the thing is, this article specifically touches upon the halal food issues in Japan only. So you can use your own judgment. So you got to make your own decision. You got to confirm other specific resources about your own country's situation. But this discussion is about the country called Japan. So before we jump into the nitty gritty details of our recommendation for verifying the authenticity of halal food, uh, you plan to eat in Japan. Let me share with you a personal anecdote I encountered at a famous resort town in the country some time ago. So I'm sure you will be able to gain some basic understanding, at least some rudimentary understanding of how life for the Muslims, especially for Muslim visitors in Japan is and how they can survive. Because uh, the, the reason we need to discuss this issue is because the number of Muslims here in Japan is not that big and of course the country as a whole is still learning about what halal is. So we got to have a detailed understanding of what we're going to eat and we need to ask, we need to verify things before we actually place an order at a restaurant or somewhere else. So let's come back to the story which I had planned to discuss with you. The other day I visited Hakone in Kanagawa prefecture. It's not that far from Tokyo and it's a famous resort town some 100 kilometers away from the Tokyo metropolitan area. The purpose of my visit to the area was to conduct a basic survey on how potential Muslim visitors to the area could have dinner, lunch or any other meal in the city which is popular for its hot springs and natural scenery among locals as well as foreigners alike. However, to my dismay, I could not find even a single hotel or a restaurant which was offering halal or even halal friendly menus to their customers. On the riverside, as I told you that it's a beautiful town, lovely town indeed. On the riverside, after visiting the city ward office, the local government office and local tourism agency, I started making calls to various hotels and restaurants in the vicinity to confirm whether they were serving any halal food dishes. And believe me or not, to my total dismay, none of them said yes. How surprising and how awful that was. However, they told me that they could take the pork and or wine out of the regular menu and thus serve the remaining food to their Muslim visitors. So many of them had been doing the same thing whenever they received a Muslim customer who would insist on having halal only food. And that was the only way they could make uh, the food halal. That's very surprising. But you know, it's business. So <laughs> in business, you cannot expect much if they don't get uh, Muslim visitors on a regular basis. If the number of Muslim visitors they receive is not that high, then of course, they can doesn't make any business sense for them to have separate halal menus. So when you visit any restaurant in Japan, please be ready for a few surprises about their understanding of what halal is and what it is not. Unfortunately, some restaurant employees in the country wrongly think and believe, of course, that ham and bacon are not considered meat. That was very, very shocking to me, at least in the beginning. So once you're there, 
if you go to a restaurant please tell them clearly from in the beginning that you do not and cannot eat either of them neither ham neither nor bacon as both of them are made from pork so you got to keep it in mind before you place any order so to make sure that you're going to eat halal only in japan please ask the following questions inshallah i hope you should be able to get something pretty close to what a halal dish should be so the very first question which you may ever ask is what type of oil do they use in preparing food items salad oil or animal based oil this is an important question please never ignore it especially if you are in japan another question which you may want to ask them before you place uh, order uh, for a food uh, item for any dishes do they use any amount of alcohol to prepare the dish you want to eat again it's very typical japanese thing so you want to make sure that they don't use any type of alcohol just to give a nice look and flavor which they tend to do with almost every single dish they prepare in restaurants so beware of that uh, and the third important question which you may want to ask them do they have any ham or bacon in their dishes if they say yes then of course you know the, what your answer should be what your reaction should be and uh, do they have any vegetable which was not prepared by using wine if they say yes just go for that and what else do they use any spices which are extracted from alcohol or pork related products this is an important question they say chomirio which is of course derived from pork ingredient so please be aware of these issues as well and last but not the least do they consume the same cooking utensils for cooking halal as well as haram dishes if yes then the food will not be halal no matter what other measures they take to make it halal friendly so Uh, these are some of the basic questions which you got to understand and if they say that uh, we use separate uh, utensils or at least we clean them very very in a professional way then of course you could go for a meat which should be considered halal otherwise you cannot eat that kind of taste so uh, the answer to these questions will help you make an informed decision on whether you would like to eat or dine at the restaurant in question or go somewhere else for eating something which is actually halal for the past 5 years or so because you know in 2020 tokyo was supposed to have olympics which was actually held in 2021 due to the the ongoing coronavirus pandemic but for preparing for tokyo olympics what happened is that the japanese government as well as the private sector they started establishing halal restaurants in large numbers in many parts of the country and alhamdulillah these days you should be able to find a reasonably managed uh, restaurant which is halal which offers at least some halal dishes but even then your job as a visitor or as a resident in japan should be to actually verify each and everything before you place an order for any dish so uh, just as a rule of rule of thumb you got to make sure that you are actually eating halal only so i hope that this will be helpful for a lot of people and inshallah we hope to talk to you we hope to get back to you with another episode from the halal times in the very near future till then uh, we would like to say you thank you so much and uh, before i let you go just one request please subscribe to our channel and visit our website halaltimes.com so that you can get the latest and the greatest information about the halal industry in japan not only in japan but in so many other countries and believe me or not this is the only surviving i don't want to go to, into the details because we have two other competitors which have gone bust and we are the only media uh, platform which has been supplying you genuine halal industry related information in japan and all around the world so please subscribe to us and visit our website so that we can continue producing amazing content for you guys and the future generations as well so inshallah we hope to get back to you uh, with another episode from the halal times till then assalam alaikum and talk to you later